Good morning. It's about quarter past seven. Well, maybe half past seven. Very cold night, but we were toasty warm. But look at the tent. Yeah, it's half past seven. That's ice. There's Nicola getting a cup of tea on. Let's go say hello. Morning, Nicola. Morning. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm trying to keep warm. <laughs> all right we're all packed up there's our the only trace we've left is a bit of ground that isn't frozen now i'm just going to walk over here and have a look at the sunrise oh it's 8 18. um what time did we get up six <laughs> it's taken us two and a half hours to get ready um oh but this is so cold this is the weather i was actually kind of hoping for were you uh, yes um, stupidly <laughs> yes it's very beautiful and it was at least it was easy to pack up if it had been raining it's a bit oh, harder be um but yeah so beautiful frosty freezing cold <sighs> and off we go for day two over there oh I love that noise It's real cold. Even the big puddles are frozen. Okay, we're getting some views over Loch Lomond, which, all being well, we're going to hike up the length of. And what's the fact about it, Nicola? It's the largest ex largest expanse of fresh water in the UK. Yes. She told me that copious amounts of times the first time we did the West Island Way. Yes. Um, we're still in all our layers. It's still a very chilly day. Um, and my knee is hurting quite a bit. So we slowed the pace. Nicola's got problems with her ankle and a, and a slightly twingy knee and is obsessed with icy puddles. That's slowing us down somewhat. Yeah, Nicola has to do that to every puddle she passes pretty much. But look at that sky full of snow. has arrived just as we're heading up towards Conic Hill so hopefully it's 11 o'clock now and the heavy snow was due to arrive at 12 so hopefully we can get up and over Conic Hill before it gets too bad okay so the snow is actually falling very heavily and has covered covered the path in a very short space of time um, Kate's knee is hurting slightly. I'm just recovering from quite a serious knee injury that I had in the spring. So we've decided to cut out Conic Hill and head back and do the road bit um, instead. The weather's beaten us. It looks like I've really set this up professionally. I've got like this greenery behind me. Um, but we're all quite a bit wet now. Nicola brought the hot pot. Um, <laughs> we were aiming to get, we're, well, we're going to Balmahar. Hopefully there's somewhere open that we can just get in, maybe get some nice hot food in us. All right, time to leave the bus shelter and head back out into it. But why spend hundreds on a pair of waterproof gloves? Well, you could just wear a pair of rubber gloves. Also, stylish as hell, what do you think, Kate? Oh yeah, very nice. Right, 
off we go to Balmaha where we're hoping for cups of tea and warm food. We need to wee. And a toilet. <laughs> yeah, we definitely made the right decision because that's Ponic Hill up there. But it's pretty <laughs> windy and snowy down here. So I can't imagine what it'd be like up there. Do you think we've made the right decision, Kate? No, I really wish we were up there. Oh, let's go back. Invigorating. Let's go back. <coughs> also, these gloves with a pair of liners underneath working out an absolute treat. Okay, we made it to Balmaha and it looks like this might be open. Oh, the business is up there. Coffee shop and ice cream. Don't know if I want ice cream. Oh, warm drink. Oh, we might as well get some gas. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll have a look in the village shop. Um, I'll have a look if we've got gas. Freshly roasted coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is heaven. How are you feeling, Kate? Oh, very good. Can't even let the gun down. Yes. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> we'll just stay here forever, it's fine. I didn't actually see the menu, I just looked at what was there. But I'm glad when I looked at the menu, I still would have gone for the time. Oh, really? Yeah. I only get soup, but I was like, oh, yeah. Is that after the woman in the shop? Yeah, probably. She was nice. She was like, probably. Oh, no. She said two girls came down and they were experiencing this climate. So I was like, <coughs> Yeah. God what about that says not experience? Is it the rubber gloves? <laughs> we just left the cafe um, and the snow is really melting while we were in there. It's sort of turned to wet snow now. So lots and lots of slush. Which is going to be delightful for camping. The colours down here, the green, the brown, the white snow, it looks pretty, pretty amazing. It's quite slippy though. It's quite slippy and I'm prone to falling over. So, since my injury, I'm very nervous of falling over. So I'm going to put the camera away. Dick Thistle. Get me limping Out to solve back. a crime with her washing up gloves. Needs no fingerprints. Well, maybe I look more like a criminal. <laughs> right, yeah. Should I not hold my GoPro when I come up here? here. <laughs> Don't be a wuss, Kate. <laughs> Crack out the head torch. No, be fine. <laughs> Just doing a spot of night hiking. I think we're almost there. It's just a fire in the distance there. There's a couple who are Sorry? having a night camping and making a video. We've pitched, oh, I don't think you can see it. It's not great at filming in the dark, but there's Kate. I can't hear what you're saying. I'm making a video. Oh, right, sorry. Kate's blowing up her sleeping mat. Which will take about 12 years. Thank mm -hmm. you. 